A very useful application if you have a Windows handheld gaming PC is Handheld Companion. It provides easy access to functions and features that you may find by installing multiple applications and setting them all up separately. This is not a sponsored video or anything, just a very useful app we use every day on our handouts. We will take a few moments first to go over the main software where you can set up a few things. Some handhelds identify as OEM controllers, which can have compatibility issues with some games either not being recognised at all or incorrectly configured. From here you can change the identity of your handhelds controller to for example a Xbox 360 or PlayStation DualShock 4 controller. The Profiles tab lets you set up different profiles which is very handy to have. You can set up profiles per application, for example when a certain game is running it will switch to an Xbox 360 controller, set up the TDP to automatically adjust and the frame rate to 60fps with some more power for the GPU. Every game can have different setups and it saves a lot of time constantly changing settings when using these profiles. The overlay is an on-screen display of performance metrics showing varying levels of CPU, GPU, TDP and battery information. This is useful for benchmarking or simply setting up your game for the best graphics levels to run at 60fps for example. You can change the position of the data on the screen, the size and the colours amongst others. The hotkey settings allows you to configure a variety of different button combinations to perform various functions. The most basic is setting up a key to bring up the overlay, but you can have a virtual trackpad like the Steam Deck and 3D controller overlay, as well as switching CDP for example. For handhelds like the Iron Neo 2S, this is great as there's four custom buttons which can be easily used. Whilst you are in a game or emulator, if you have enabled the performance metrics display you will see them on the screen. Pressing the overlay OK will bring up a side panel with four icons for the settings, power, profile and task manager. The power icon gets you quick access to a bunch of commonly used functions such as the detail level of the performance metrics, changing the display resolution, fan settings and power mode. The most useful is the profile icon where you can adjust various power related settings. From here you can limit the frame rate and TDP limit or have it running automatically adjusting levels based on demand as well as adjusting the CPU and GPU power balance. The auto TDP is especially useful for saving battery life as we will show. For example we are playing Forza Horizon 5 and the frame rate is around 90 plus FPS and the TDP around 28 watts. We don't really need to go above 60 FPS, the TDP is set too high and is wasting battery life. By enabling the automatic TDP and setting the frame rate to 60, the game will now target a 60 FPS rate and automatically adjust the power demand based on that. We can now see the TDP is around 11 watts compared to around 28 previously. It's not 100% perfect and you may see some dips below 60 now and again, but it's often barely noticeable unless you have the FPS counter on the screen. The game does need to be configured to run above 60 FPS beforehand. It won't magically make everything run at the best graphics at 60 FPS, that's not possible. But by spending a little time setting the graphics up, you can get great results and save some battery life. More games are taking advantage of motion control and not forgetting emulators as well. Most Windows handhelds have a built in gyroscope which are often overlooked as it can be a bit of a pain to set it up and get working. The handheld controller software makes this process extremely easy now. We will use the Yuzu emulator as an example. To enable motion controls simply start the service in the main handheld companion software. Then in the Yuzu emulator go to the input setup and define all of your controls. At the bottom is a motion setting, select that and then shake your handheld. You will see the setting update to CMU hookup. Now load a motion control compatible game and you will be able to use your controller for motion input. If it's not working check the game settings in case you need to enable it. You may need to tweak the settings to get motion input to your preference but it works well overall. There are guides on the homepage for setting up different compatible emulators. So that's our brief overview of Handheld Companion. 
For us, it's a great time saver as it has everything we need in one easy to use install and use package. There's minimal setting up and it gives us fast access to performance metrics, easy TDP changing, display settings and more that we don't use but you might. You can learn more about it on the GitHub page linked in the description. If you have a Windows handheld gaming PC then we highly recommend giving it an install and you probably won't be able to live without it. If you have not got a handheld gaming PC yet, why not take a look at our selection of the latest models from GPD, iNeo and one Player at droix.co.uk and droix.net for worldwide orders. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and like and we hope to see you back in our next video.